Oh my gosh, look at this thing. An equation involving polynomials is shown below. Whoa, what are the values of A and B? <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Well, first things first, let's try to simplify as much as we can on the left side. See if things disappear. See what happens. I guess maybe what could be done is just plugging these in, but I don't know. I'm hoping some type of magic will happen. Nothing is in front of these parentheses, so I don't need a parentheses. Similarly, since there's nothing in front of that parentheses, the parentheses don't matter. If there's just a plus sign in front of the parentheses, the parentheses also don't matter. But with this guy, I need to distribute the negative, which means you flip every side inside the parentheses. So there you go. That's got to equal 2x plus y. So I have ax, which uh, kind of combines with 3x. I'm not going to deal with that, not yet. But I do, what I do have is I have an a, or just 1x, minus 3x, which gives me negative 2x. So we'll do negative 2x, and I'll put ax kind of right there. All right, let's get a different color going on here. We've got 5y minus regular y, which is 4y. And then we've got, uh, let me keep it red, plus by. That's got to equal, now let me bring back my colors, 2x, which I'll keep in black so it looks like my x values, plus a regular y, uh, which I will keep red. So this is how I'm going to view it. All right. A minus 2x has got to match up with 2. So A minus 2 has got to equal to oh, A minus 2 has to equal 2. If I add 2 to both sides, that gives me a is 4. So kind of what I did is I'm like, all right, so I need to make a x's. So something x's minus 2x has to equal 2x. So if that a was 4, 4x four take away 2x gives me 2x. So a has got to be 4, which eliminates u and eliminates u. I'm going to do the same thing with this. This is basically saying 4y's plus some random numbers got to give me one y. All right, so 4 plus b has to equal uh, 1. If I subtract one, uh, 4, if I subtract 4, b is going to equal negative 3, which gives me a really, 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 really advanced problem. Really advanced problem. Uh, I That's not something you would see in a regular traditional Algebra 1 class. So with a problem like this, they're looking for the best of the best of the best of the best. So I didn't like it. Neither should you.